Hi there, in this video I will look at how we construct a break-even chart. Okay, so um, this is looking at how to construct and interpret break-even charts um, and I will go over most of these terms actually in a subsequent video. Um, so I introduced these numbers in uh, the previous video in this playlist uh, on finance. Um, just a very simple example of a break-even analysis uh, where you um, uh, put these numbers into a chart so uh, it uh, provides a very visual um, clue as to uh, where we break even. Okay, break-even point being the point at which total revenue is equal to total costs or the point at which the business is making neither a profit nor a loss. In this case, the total revenue is equal to total cost, where this business makes 2,000 units of whatever it is. And I've just used these simple numbers here to uh, show this example. Um, so how do we go about uh, constructing a break-even chart? Well, first of all, break-even chart might show all of these uh, data points on here, fixed cost, variable cost, total cost, and total revenue. So how do we go about uh, doing that and what does it look like? First of all, if you're drawing a break-even chart in an exam, if you had to, you'd probably be given part of the break-even chart. You would almost uh, certainly be given uh, at least the axes. You may have to fill in the... Um, um, uh, numbers along the side here yourselves, uh, but the break-even chart will show cost and sales revenue uh, along the vertical axis and the horizontal axis will show output, whatever that might be. Uh, you'll have to excuse the somewhat imprecise nature of this one, um, but uh, I've been uh, using, doing the best I can on the um, PowerPoint. Okay, so um, First line we want to plot is our fixed costs. Our fixed costs remain constant regardless of the uh, level of output. Now, uh, we said our fixed costs were 40,000. Might just be worth um, screenshotting these numbers and just taking a picture so you can compare the chart to this as we're going along. But the fixed cost, you can see it's 40,000 and it doesn't matter what our level of output is, uh, the fixed costs remain constant at 40,000. So. Um, that is what the fixed cost line looks like. It doesn't matter if I'm making uh, 1,000 units, 4,000 units, a million units. If my uh, fixed costs do not change, uh, regardless of output, they're always going to be the same, um, which is in this case 40,000. But regardless, in any break-even chart, the fixed cost line will be a straight uh, horizontal uh, line. Okay. This next line is my variable costs line. Um, the variable costs were twenty uh, pounds per unit of output, so um, a thousand output. Uh, at, uh, when we're making a thousand units, my var total variable costs are twenty thousand. When I'm making two thousand units, my total variable costs are forty thousand, and so on. Uh, it's not exact, but um, you get the idea. The point is the variable cost line is um, it's going to be an upwardly rising line, a straight line that emerges at zero. When I make zero units, if I'm making zero cups of coffee, I spend zero money on coffee. Um, if it's costing me one pound in ingredients and packaging to make each cup of coffee, when I make a thousand cups of coffee, my variable cost will be a thousand rentsy. 2,000 cups of coffee, my variable cost will be 2,000, etc. So it always starts at zero and rises vertically. Once I've got my fixed and variable costs, I can then plot my total costs. Remember, the formula for total costs is fixed cost, cost plus variable costs. So the fixed cost will always emerge zero unit at whatever your fixed cost is, in this case 40,000. Okay, um, if you know, the formula for total cost is fixed cost plus variable cost. We've already identified that at zero units of output, my variable costs will inevitably be zero. So um, if my fixed costs are 40,000, 40,000 plus zero, I'm 
going to start here every time and my total cost line um, should rise parallel to the variable cost line. Um, this is because, of course, of the formula. This line is effectively this line plus this line. The blue line plus the red line is going to equal the light blue line here. Um, okay, so that's all our costs plotted. We now need to plot our sales revenue. Um, our sales revenue was 40 uh, pounds for each unit of output sold. So when uh, I sell zero units of output, uh, my total revenue is obviously going to be zero. So this is where the total revenue line emerges. Uh, in this case, if I sell a thousand units, um, my total revenue is going to be 40,000. When I sell 2,000 units, my total revenue is going to be 80,000. Um, etc and I get a line that looks like this now these are all the lines you need to be aware of break-even charts will um, if they've got all four lines they will look like this um, so we now have got everything we need to do to finish off our break-even chart last thing we need to do is just plot uh, the break-even point and the break-even point occurs where total revenue equals total cost Okay, I'm slightly off there with my line, but you can see what I'm trying to get to. Uh, we saw that the break-even output was 2,000 units. In your uh, break-even chart in an exam, make sure you get it pinpointed exactly, and you trace down a dotted line to the output, and you label that as the break-even point. Um, key things to remember, variable costs, total revenue, start at zero. Fixed costs are in a vertical line and the total costs emerge where the um, fixed costs start. Um, I hope that makes sense. Um, this is what every break-even chart will look like in an AS business exam.